your dog. Walk on. Working with dogs is a form of escapism for me. It puts me in a situation that allows me to, to be calm, um, at peace with myself in many respects. The wonderful thing about the Border Collie is that even before the training process begins, you've already got a multifaceted dog that's, that's got guile, tenacity, speed, athleticism, and to, to nurture and bring young dogs along and to see them grow is, is tremendously exciting. You've got to be on the move, you've got to have eyes in the backs of your head and uh, generally pretty well aware because what makes the dog so intelligent also oh. makes the dog a liability. Stan! Stan! To understand another species it takes time effort and observation. To rely on heavy-handed methods in my mind shows weakness on the handler's part. I prefer to just sit back, observe, work out what's natural within the dog and also I look to myself for the mistakes that they make. Stand. My methods of training are based on, on several different factors. The psychology of the dog and the human being is very, very important. Things get pretty lively when you're working with a dog, so you have to consciously tell yourself when you feel that adrenaline levels are going up, that uh, you need to now calm down and control your own emotions and be aware of them, because whatever state of mind you're in, your dog will mirror that state of mind in, in terms of their behavior. I tend to look for structure, so how I move, the direction in which I move, how quickly I move. And when I'm teaching people, it's important for them that they know exactly where they're going because it, it helps with the training process. Come by. Stand. Still. Come by. The method's sort of been developed by myself, but also I've observed um, people such as Monty Roberts uh, many, many years ago applying similar techniques working with horses. I think being empathetic with animals enables you to connect with them and to be sensitive to their emotional state. We all have pressure in our lives and, and the training process also involves pressure. and. If you're empathetic with, with dogs that you're working with, you will be aware that you may be putting too much pressure on them. Um, it's important to, to sometimes be able to withdraw that pressure so that they're able to fulfill their, their potential. The methods of training that I advocate are incredibly simple. And, and they are well broken down. So each stage of training is, is very well defined. The process works in such a way that if you get your basics correct, a lot of the advanced training is already achievable. This. I think that, that some people, particularly those that, that haven't really um, done lots of training tend to grasp it quite well because they haven't got preconceptions or, or lots of other ideas running through their head. But also uh, handlers who have been competing for many years have found that there are elements um, within my, my way of training that, that have given them new hope. As a trainer and as a handler, if I'm able to problem solve and find solutions for people, it makes that relationship with your dog all the more fruitful.